now we are discussing classification of inductors inductors are classified according to the core material air core inductors iron core inductors ferrite core inductors if this is the inductor if we take a iron material and if we fold a wire on that iron material if this is the iron material if i am folding a conductor wire on this iron material then this is called as iron core that inductor is called as iron core inductor and if i use the ferrite material as core and if i fold a conductor wire on that ferrite core then it is called as ferrite core inductor so according to the core material used inductors are classified into three types air core iron core ferrite core what is the core material used in the air core inductors air if we do not use any iron core or ferrite core then that inductor is called as air core inductor now according to the frequency of operation inductors are classified into two types audio frequency inductors radio frequency inductors audio frequency means that will be in the range of 20 hz to 20 kilohertz radio frequency is in the range of mega hz which frequency we are using based on the frequency we are using we classify inductors into two types audio frequency radio frequency okay for example the supply we are getting the voltage is 50 hertz supply we use the we, we had the habit to use the choke in the tube lights that choke is also an inductor now because that choke is using this 50 hertz ac voltage supply definitely we call that is using the audio frequency application that's why that choke is called as af choke audio frequency choke the choke we use in the tube lights is called as audio frequency choke choke is an inductor similarly when we want to use an inductor for higher frequency then we call that as rf choke radio frequency inductor according to the operation inductors are classified into two types fixed inductors very well in the fixed inductor there is no need to change the inductance in the variable inductor if we want to change the inductance that is possible where we want where we can change the inductance whenever we want to change the frequency there by changing the inductance we can change the frequency example when you want to change a tv channel from one channel to another channel even though if you keep a remote in front of you you are thinking by changing by switching the by pressing the buttons the channel is changing by pressing the buttons the channel is, is appearing to be changed but simply by if you turn off the tv and if you press the buttons nothing will change actually we are trying to change the frequency so whenever we are tuning one frequency one channel is appearing before us that may be dd and whenever we are changing to another frequency maybe another channel is appearing before us okay we are changing the frequency for changing the frequency we can change the inductance okay so fixed inductors and variable inductors and according to the layers if we take a single layer then that inductor is called as single layer inductor if we fold by using multi layers more than one layer then it is called as multi layer inductor okay so classification of inductors we have discussed in many types of inductors are available but we are using a certain parameter to classify first one is according to core materials inductors are classified mainly into three types air core iron core ferrite core according to frequency audio frequency radio frequency okay according to operation fixed inductors variable inductors according to layers single layer winding multi layer winding